I'm Amanda. I'm a sport fishing specialist with the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries. And today we're working up some of the fish that have been donated to our carcass collection program. So what we have here are speckled trouts. Our anglers filled out a catch card, left them in a bag in one of our freezers. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take the length. We're going to be able to tell if it's a male or a female. And I'm going to take out the otolis, which we use for aging, which then goes into our stock assessments. I can tell that it is a speckled trout, even though it's a carcass, by looking at the tail and noticing that these spots come all the way onto the caudal fin. So with our filleted carcass, we're going to take a length measurement. So I'm going to start with the fork length. So our fork length in millimeters is 415, and our total length is 421. And with the gonads left intact and part of the body cavity, I can tell that this right here is a male speckled trout. And next, we're going to go ahead and take out the otoliths. Otoliths are located right at the pre line, behind the eyes and underneath the brain. So I'm going to go ahead and make a diagonal cut. And I open it up. Right there is the brain. We'll scoop it out of the way. And the otoliths are going to sit on either side of the brain. Take it out just like that. And one on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and clean these up. A little bit of water. And when we look at these underneath the microscope, we will be able to see the growth rings, the annual growth rings. And each of those represents a year of growth for this fish. So we'll be able to tell how old this male fish is, and that is going to go into our stock assessments. So these donations are super important. We can understand where the fish are, their growth rates, the length at age, and that does vary from fish to fish depending on how well they've been feeding or um, maybe they had an, uh, an attack or an injury, so they didn't grow as much. But this is how we understand what size of fish and what age of fish are in our population for things like spawning.